Hi everybody, um, I'm Dr. Shire and I am going to give you a quick overview on the menstrual cycle today in this Fertility 101 video. You can use this information to help you plan pregnancy or prevent pregnancy based on your goals. So first, it is very important to know how to count your cycle lengths. Day one of your menstrual cycle will be the first day that your period flow starts. Then you count the number of days until your next menstrual cycle. It may take a few cycles of counting days to figure out where your average cycle length is, as the menstrual cycle can vary by a few days each month. So the average cycle length is approximately 28 days. However, it could be anywhere from 21 to 35 days in women who are having normal, regular menstrual cycles. Typically, ovulation occurs 14 days prior to the next menstrual cycle in women who are having regular ovulatory cycles. So early in the menstrual cycle, what happens from your ovaries, the estrogen levels are rising in the early part of the cycle. That's helping to stimulate that endometrial lining to help that lining thicken and prepare for pregnancy. Then kind of mid cycle, as you approach ovulation, you get something called an LH surge, which is the luteinizing hormone. Um, that'll start to surge in the middle of the cycle. In women using home ovulation predictor kits, this is the hormone that is detected on those kits. Typically, when we start to see this hormone surge happening, you're gonna ovulate approximately 24 to 36 hours after that. Once ovulation occurs, the egg is only good for about 12 to 24 hours. And if it doesn't get fertilized, then the egg is no longer able to be fertilized. Sperm, on the other hand, is uh, viable for up to three to five days. So when timing intercourse, that most fertile window is gonna be one to two days before ovulation and around the time the ovulation occurs. So if you were trying to get pregnant, having intercourse every other day for up to three to five days before ovulation and around the time of ovulation is gonna be the most fertile time in your cycle. After ovulation occurs, what happens is your progesterone levels start rising in the second half. That is creating a nice nurturing environment for that endometrial lining for embryo implantation. If you do not get pregnant, then what happens is all your hormones fall, and then that's what causes that whole uterine lining to shed for the next menstrual cycle. For average couples without any infertility issues, the chance of conception each month is about 20%. So that is just a real quick overview on some of the hormones in the menstrual cycle and where the peak fertility window is. However, not all women have regular menstrual cycles and there can be other factors that can affect fertility. So here at Women's Health Specialist, we are always happy to meet with you, answer any questions you may have and support you in whatever way we can.